2018 Urban Sketchers uh, Symposium here in beautiful Porto, Portugal. Uh, can you please tell me your name and where you're from? Yeah, my name is Linda Gray and I'm from a small town in the north of England called Kendall. Wonderful. And can you tell me a little bit about what you typically like to teach in a workshop? Um, yes, well here in Porto I'm teaching a workshop called Searching for Focus and Flow mm -hmm. and um, in it I'm trying to help students to get to grips with that mass of uh, sort of buildings in front of them by being very focused and um, putting their energy into one thing first but trying to link that um, with other buildings around their original focus mm -hmm. and create um, a kind of flow mm -hmm. on a, a, a very fluid, open-ended drawing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's wonderful. Do you have some examples you want to show me? Uh, yes, okay. So this is a typical example of my work. Mm -hmm. and, Beautiful. Um, I separate um, my process into three things. The first is um, about trying to visualize my drawing mm -hmm. before I start to work. Right. So I find a clear focus mm -hmm. and then I will make an open-ended drawing that has movement right. and it's very open-ended. Mm -hmm. um, and then the watercolor tries to echo the flow of right. the drawing. Right. And I work uh, wet in wet, mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit experimental. Yes. Um, but it means that uh, the watercolor looks very fluid. Yes, it and, does. And um, it it hopefully echoes my original vision mm -hmm. that I had, um, which was to see movement in in. Um, what, what's in front of me. Yeah, um, right. Uh, what I'm seeing here is uh, no strong emphasis on the edges. No. And, uh, and, and just a very fluid looking um, color in the middle. It's, it's, you're not, you're coloring outside of the lines. That's for I, sure. I'm definitely coloring outside yeah. the lines. Can I show you another yes, one? Yes, I would love to see that Okay. One. So what I get my students to do um, is to start small because it's less frightening for them. Yes. <laughs> um, so we might do three small drawings mm -hmm. on a page, nicely right. composed, mm -hmm. and um, I break down again the process. Right. So they visualize their drawing first, mm -hmm. then they draw, mm -hmm. thinking about quality of line mm -hmm. and um, varying the line mm -hmm. so that it's stronger at the focus right. and um, sort of what I call fizzling out at the edges. And, um, Beautiful. and then um, they try to um, use the watercolour wet and wet mm -hmm. um, so it um, echoes their original drawing okay. and um, they build up the washes right. um, but only in the focal area okay. um, so it's a, it's a process of maybe about three applications of watercolour Cool. Do you have another example to show me? Yes. That's wonderful. And so what, what kind of pen are you using on there? So um, these are two bigger pieces. Right. And um, I use a platinum carbon pen. Okay. But where I need to emphasize my focus, mm -hmm. I use a Micron 0.5 um, pen on top of that. And um, it's um, Fabriano uh, Artistico watercolour paper. Um, wow, that is so beautiful. The, the process can be done very small or very large. And I try to encourage people that even the tiniest little drawing can be really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't have to be um, huge. Yeah. But um, I encourage people to like what they do mm -hmm. to really enjoy the whole process from visualizing through drawing and and applying the watercolor and um, to to try to um, really enjoy everything about it yeah and it, obviously it's it's you know you are enjoying what you're doing and making beautiful art here thank you so much for chatting with me thank you <laughs>